Hi, this is Gary with MacMost Now. Today, Apple announced the brand new iPad 2. Let me run down the details for you. So inside the new iPad, we've got a faster processor. The A5 promises twice the processing speed and nine times the graphics speed. Also, we've got gyroscopes inside. This will not only give us the movement of the iPad like the accelerometers do, but also its orientation. So a lot of use in creative apps and games. On the outside, the new iPad is a new design, making it one third thinner than the original and also slightly lighter. It will also come available in two case colors, black and white. So perhaps the biggest obvious change to the iPad is the inclusion of two cameras. These look like the same two cameras that are available on the iPod Touch. There's a 720p HD camera that's coming out the rear of the iPad and facing the front is a standard VGA camera. You'll be able to stream video using either one of these with the new FaceTime app and also record video using the new Photo Booth app. There will be three versions of the iPad. One that's Wi-Fi only another that's Wi-Fi plus AT&T's 3G network and one that is Wi-Fi plus Verizon's 3G network. So in addition to those three models of course there's different memory models from 16 gigs to 64 gigs and the black and white cases. So a lot of different versions to choose from. Now Apple's changed the way the cases work on the new iPad. There's actually magnets in the case of the iPad and they correspond to magnets on this new case. It's actually just a cover from Apple that fits on it. You can see it here. It kind of rolls up and becomes a stand. It should be kind of interesting. There's going to be different colors and also a leather version of this case. So I'm sure third party cases will also try to emulate this and use the magnets built into the iPad. Another major new accessory is going to be this HDMI out connector. Now the original iPad had a VJ out adapter and I'm sure that will still work. But this HDMI out promises something that the original iPad doesn't have which is full screen mirroring. According to what I've read and what was announced today you should be able to see exactly what's on your iPad screen on the screen of something hooked up to it via HDMI. Now with the release of the iPad 2 is also going to come the release of iOS 4.3. So a lot of these features are both for the iPad 2, the original iPad and also the iPhone 4. We're going to get new features like faster Safari. Also the iTunes home sharing should work a little bit better allowing you to actually stream music from your iTunes collection on your Mac or PC onto your iPad. So you don't actually have to have the music on your iPad to stream it. AirPlay is going to be greatly expanded. For instance it looks like you'll be able to play a video that's embedded in a web page over AirPlay. So it's not just going to work with a select few video and audio apps. It should work pretty much everywhere that video and audio is available. We'll have to see the details when the iPad comes out. A tiny little feature but a big deal for most is going to be the ability to change what the switch on the side of your iPad does. Originally it was an orientation lock switch. Then it got changed to a mute switch. Well now you'll be able to set a preference and use it for either one. Apple also talked about two big new apps coming out for the iPad. The first is iMovie. We already have that for the iPhone 4. This iPad 2 version should see a lot of new features and better yet it's the same app. So it looks like upgrading the app if you have it now for the iPhone 4 will get you a new version for your iPhone 4 and allow you to use it on the iPad 2 as well. The second big app is GarageBand for iPad. So this looks really cool. It looks like it goes way beyond the actual GarageBand for Mac by allowing you to play all these different instruments using the touch screen. And it also includes a lot of the basic editing stuff that's available on the Mac version of GarageBand. Can't wait to get my hands on this one. With so many different models it's hard to pin down an actual price on the iPad. It depends which one you want. But the base Wi-Fi only model is going to sell for $499 for the 16 gig version. And all of the different models are going to be available next Friday, March 11th. It was also great to see Apple CEO Steve Jobs, who has taken a step back from day to day operations at the company, make the announcements today. Hope you enjoyed this overview of the iPad 2. Till next time, this is Gary with MacMOS Now.
Want more video tutorials? Just go to MacMost.com, click on the Videos link at the top of the page and then you can view all of the hundreds of MacMost videos by category.